We're here in the camp store, otherwise called the Trading Post, and with me today is one of our uh, rookie medical staff, Nicole. Nicole also has the distinction of also being a parent of a camper uh, that's coming next week with type 1 diabetes. Uh, Nicole has a very special perspective about camp, having now worked on the medical staff for the last several days. So I'd like to ask her a few questions about how have your uh, feelings changed about sending your child to camp after you yourself have actually worked on the staff, the medical staff at camp? Tell us a little bit about how you feel about that, Nicole. Well, I feel, I've, I feel much better about sending my kid here because I know how hard everybody works to take care of them. We do these midnight checks, and that's probably a big thing because I know many parents like me, I would stay up late or they get up in the middle of the night or they have an alarm on their kid because of low blood sugars in the middle of the night. What do you tell parents who are thinking about sending their children here, perhaps for the first time? What advice would you give them now that you've been on, as we would say, the other side? Um, be ready to hand over just a little bit of your control when you get here because I think that's probably the biggest step is it's not so much you're scared for their safety, it's more that you're handing over some of that control to someone else and you've been so used to being the only one to do. What do you think about the Texas Lions camp just in general? I think it's a great camp. I had a really good time last night. I went to a camp out and they, they made the whole front of the camp out. Um, this new campsite looks like a, a town. So it's called Frontier. I think it's called Frontier. It's called Inspiration. And I had a really good time. And uh, the campers seem to have a really good time. What do you tell other parents who uh, might want to follow in your footsteps and perhaps uh, serve on our medical staff? What preparation or what tips would you give them in preparing for that role? Um, even if you think that you totally know what you're doing, you'll get here and find out that there's other ways of doing it. So uh, be ready to change some of the ways that you do things and be ready to learn that sometimes the way that you do it's not always the best. If you had to sum it up in one word, what would you say? Your experience. Super fun, and that's two words, but I don't care. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nicole. Thank you.